Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the darkest TikTok iceberg part. Faking Disabilities Part 2. Last time we talked about faking disabilities, we spoke about this man that was just pretending to be disabled in general. There was no specific disorder that he was faking. It was just, you know, he didn't even explain it. Yes, I did offer Queen uh, water she's drinking. Do you want something to drink, by the way? I don't know, we're just sharing this water. Oh, okay. There, see, the Queen and the King both got... Uh, that's water. how bad it was. But you guys were telling me in the comments that a lot of people fake Tourette's syndrome and it's multiple factor. personality disorder, aka DID. I always knew about these, but the reason I didn't include it in the original video is because I didn't want to call anyone out in case I called out the wrong person. And let's just say that person actually does have Tourette's. I would look like a horrible person. But luckily, someone was called out and they were called out because they were faking Tourette's and they were caught. A user by the name of at Ticks and Roses hey, was caught this. faking Tourette's. So yeah. this person would make TikTok I remember this showing too. their daily struggles dealing with this disorder. Though, when they had a tick attack, this person was smiling throughout the experience. If you know anyone that has had a tick attack, you know that it's a painful and irritating experience, not something that you smile about and get giddy about. Anyway, this person was found out to be faking this because one, people with real Tourette's were calling them out, and two, they had a second account focused on crystals, energy, and astronomy where, surprise, they had no ticks at all throughout these TikToks and the live streams on that TikTok account. Eventually, their sister posted on Reddit explaining that they had never shown any signs of ticks as children. She goes on to explain that they want nothing to do with the family anymore, it's always their but family they are mentally ill. Now, in the case of multiple person- Yeah, it's always like, it's a different mental illness. Like, there's not- A lot of people that like fake having like this sort of disorder or mental illness just have a different kind. Disorder, aka dissociative identity too. disorder. There are a bunch of posts on the subreddit called r slash fake disorder cringe where a bunch of users are being called out. However, I'm not going to be calling out any specific users for the multiple personality disorder because I simply don't want to. But what I will say is if there are people faking Tourette's, I'm sure there are a bunch of other people faking all kinds of disorders on TikTok. Cryptic Hello. translations. In late 2020, early 2021, users found out that typing re 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 into the comment section and then clicking translate would lead to creepy messages such as it's crying, it's weeping, cry, what is the meaning of the word? It cries out behind you. Whoa. Suffering, suffering, it's all right. At what? first, I thought people were just changing the code bumps. or, you know, basically glitching out Why? the TikTok like system in order to make like these comments look creepy, problem. but no, it was Not a genuine layers, glitch but, you know, that anyone could do. You could type it out and it would translate to that. But trying it out now in 2021, it seems like it has been patched by TikTok. So, I mean, I got it to work on one comment. Someone said, hey, I caught that. Someone said, I fake lactose intolerance, but I just have IBS. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh. have yeah. I think I have if that means anything. But the question is why? Why does re 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 translate to these odd translations? According to Google Translate, the word re 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 and its variations could be translated to Maori, an endangered language spoken by one of the indigenous tribes of New Zealand. According to the Maori dictionary, the word re re means to be angry, annoyed, or enraged. It does not mean Rihanna. <laughs> The word ear, 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 on the other hand, is detected as Shona or I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm going to that. One of the native. Osa. No. Osa. Shosa. No. Osa. Shosa. No. I'm, I'm not even doing it right. Shosa. It's a different kind of click. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it correctly. It's like. Osa. 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 Or is it? Or. I can't tell if it's like, is it low tongue or is it like in the back of your tongue? Also. What was that? Bitch Those clicks are hard to get, right? If you don't do it. Yeah, it's it's a language. Also. also. Languages of Zimbabwe and South Africa. So at the end of the day, it seems like TikTok was going off the Maori definition of re re re, but it would like glitch out. See, notice like this is one of the worst parts by being having like such a fucking woke community is like instead of being like, wow, that's obvious that you know that what that is, they're like, oh, this is appropriation. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Because it interferes with the other languages, leading to uh, some very messed up translations. Yeah. Confused underscore me too. Confused underscore me too is a TikTok account that one of you guys said I should include. So while editing this video, the account actually got taken down. But I think I described what? it with enough details for you guys what? to understand what's going on. So be... I'm just gonna put some what's stock images as I talk about the account. I'm also, I really want this in the iceberg because I wanted you guys to know to not believe everything you see on TikTok. The account only has two posts and one of them shows someone squirming around in a garbage bag and the other shows a river. The song playing in the background is I Feel Fantastic by Tara oh, the Android. A video we covered on the darkest 
YouTube iceberg. I've seen this. Anyway, the watermark says the video belongs to Devin KB 816 but it seems that account has been deleted. I do think this is fake because, I mean, come on, it just looks so staged. It's like some teenagers just wanted to prank the TikTok community. And also- Oh, you know what I always see on TikTok too? Like fucking, it's always on my For You page for some reason. They'll be like, look at this scream while this guy was like looking at, you know, mushrooms or whatever. And it's always like, it's like fake sounds from like fucking 2009, you know what I mean? Like where where there'll be like a fake scream like it's very obviously a fake scream and uh they'll be like oh there's a demon it's the wendigo uh it's the wendigo uh Wind -Hel -Will -Hel 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 yeah it's just so stupid it's like and then the guy it was a buck in heat lamau it was in the comments no it wasn't a fucking buck in heat no and the guy goes oh time to leave he says something along that line. Like, he says something along that, like, where he's like, I guess it's time to leave. What the fuck are you watching on TikTok? <laughs> dude, I don't know. It's just weird ass shit, dude. Yo, I'm, I'm waiting for the day when TikTok takes my interests and merges them once again, as it always does. Where, like, there's going to be Wendigo OnlyFans girls. You know what I mean? Wait. Like, it's going to be like an OnlyFans girl, like, uh, you know, shooting an intro to her fucking OnlyFans porn that she's doing out in the wild. And then the Wendigo scream in the background. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Because I have, like... My TikTok idea, like the things I follow it's on TikTok, emerge because I look at like OnlyFans girls. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like I look at like sexy girls, uh, and some of them have OnlyFans. So, and then I look at like weird conservative shit. Uh -huh. So now TikTok on my for you page serves me conservative OnlyFans girls. So it's like literally this girl that is doing OnlyFans, but like she's like duck hunting and then getting fucked while duck hunting. <laughs> so now. I'm waiting for the day where you know they merge the Wendigo thing with the OnlyFans. It'll happen. Yeah. I don't understand how you don't freak people out. I mean, it's because she's a psycho. That's it. No. If you were oh, a yeah. real murderer, first of all, you wouldn't upload this. this Second, conservative if that person girl? in the bag shouldn't have. But they're not actually conservative. They're just like Midwestern OnlyFans girls that wear like real tree camo, and they're like, yeah, that's right. Like you know, country girls make do, and then they show like corn. Oh, they oh, this is the tic tac. This is the tic tac. This is the tic tac. Here, this here. Watch. There's certainly no shortage of the pheasant back mushrooms out here. I just watched this last night. Here's one, and then one over here. They look really nice. And then um, just looking around here in the distance. See Skinwalker hashtag Wendigo. Skinwalker. That tree place. has a bunch. And then this log over here has a bunch. Take a walk over there. These look pretty big. Ah! <laughs> I don't think that one is down there. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? Yeah, how did that feel? Because you did that exact same shit to me when you walked in. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for the opportunity. She did flinch. She flinched. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that one is down there. <laughs> <laughs> she did flinch. She flinched. Okay, anyway, that's fine. Let's continue. It's got to be about 12 inches across. She's going to do it to me now. And this one Demon like child. Bite out of it. <laughs> and this one. I'm trying to listen to and, the uh, screen. Uh, over here. Looks like it's holding some water. Is this huh? <laughs> it's so stupid. And the vocal range. Uh, yeah, it goes like, from like a, a demon to like a human yell, right? Make one of these right now. Oh, you should. I think it's time to go. He goes, I think it's time to go. <laughs> and. I, say it like that. <laughs> I think it's time to go. Yeah, it's just like, no, it's not a deer, dude. Are you kidding me? That is. No, it's not a fucking deer. That's it's like fake. It it's is. like a fake. It straight up is like a fake sound, okay? No, it's a deer. That's what deer sound like when they get shot. Sounds like a slowed... Wait, who else is hiding in the comments? I think it's time to go. Why did it sound like a monster at first and turn into sound like a man scream? Pretty sure that's Michael Scott. <laughs> this is a stock sound of an Al Albertosaurus from Phil Tippett's stop motion film Prehistoric Beast 1985. Boom. There you go. No, this nerd. What... This no, nerd just fucking... No, that's what deer sound like when they get shot. 
You were like, bam! I love. I love. I love. My leg. Wait, let's see if this is true or not. He just said words. I'm trying to find the audio now. Can you look up prehistoric beast sound? No, 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 no. It's a specific. It's a specific one. Yeah. So Google prehistoric beast 1985. And then look up the Albertosaurus. You can't just be putting entire sentences in Google. That's almost a paragraph. Ooh. I think prehistoric beast 1985 yes. would be clear. Okay, you were right. Okay, chill. Right there, right there. Try that video. It's 10 minutes, though. Yeah, we just have to find Albertosaurus. <laughs> you guys know what that looks like? In Alberta? Oh, is that it? I don't know. This is cute as fuck, by the way. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It should look like a T-Rex. Oh, oh. Fuck. Is this a land before time? Owned. Okay. I heard it. I didn't. I can't believe they ripped off it. I think it's a 752. No, it was different, but it, it it does sound a lot like it. That would have scared the shit out of me when I was younger. That, that yell, I was in free time. I do know that deers make uh, weird calls too. No, they sound exactly like the TikTok. Exactly. Why do you know so much about deers getting shot? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? She, Canadians, a, dude. A professional they don't even have deers in Canada. They only have meese. Moose. <laughs> meese? The plural of moose is moose. Thank you very meese. much. Meese. Anyway, a lot of that fucking found footage stuff sucked, though. Oh, here's the elk that sound crazy. Wait. The ring wave sound? To be fair, if I heard that in the wild, I would run. I'd be like, oh shit, like this is, you know, it's we're about to get to fucking- Would you not try to fight it with your bare hands? Absolutely not. First of all, I thought you would moose- try, I thought you would try to 1v1 animals. No, moose is like, no, there's like certain animals that- Yeah, I, I am- Some people don't know this, some people meaning you, but I am the most rational man when it comes to animal combat. Uh-huh. There are animals that I can fight, and then there are animals like that I can't. The overwhelming majority of animals would own me, m much like many human beings. Um, but th what's the, the biggest animal you can fight? Uh, a domesticated dog, not like a wolf, but a domesticated dog I could fight like and like destroy. Chihuahua? Yeah. What kind of? Oh, okay. Yeah, a pit bull. That's pretty much it. Like most animals, other than that, they they'll fuck you up. We could do an animal I could fight to your list. But you just said there's none. It'd be a dog. 
People mistakenly assume that they can take on like apes and chimps and stuff. Oh, those things are strong. Yeah, like they monkeys. They rip your face off. Yeah, exactly. They they have no like they they don't hold back and they're wiry as fuck. They're super strong. Um, I could beat up most domesticated dogs. One hundred percent. Drop bear was the other day. You guys know drop bears? Oh my god! You have to be careful of drop bears. Fuck is that? They're like. They're in the Australia. I've I've been told and a they're drop like, they're like bear, crazy koalas. That How do you like spell drop down on you? Drop like bear, drop bear, yeah. It's like oh, what the koalas. fuck? It's like cute as fuck, but so wild looking. Yeah, there's some savages. Ah, there's a mosquito. Ow! I think you missed it. I missed. There's a mosquito. There's a mosquito. Why did you I get that scared? I don't want to get bit because I'm allergic. I'll get itchy. I don't want to get itchy. Don't most people... I think that's like <laughs> everyone. It's just a mosquito bite. I don't want to get itchy. Wait, that's not real. Not it's real. a hoax in contemporary Australian folklore featuring a predatory carnivorous version of the koala. This imagined animal is commonly that's just, spoken that's about. That's what the Australians want you to think. They're not real? I mean, yeah. They're... That's what the Australians want you to think. Yeah, they're like... Come to Australia. There's no fucking drop bears, mate. <laughs> it's a koala. Bears. No, they're real. It's a fucking koala. There's no drop bears, mate. No, there are. Their feet it's not real. You can see their skin color. Now it's you not fucking real. Light skin person. All the community in that area would have to do is see who's been missing recently that can match that skin color, and you know probably trace it back. And that was just me thinking about that. Imagine what detectives would be able to do. Another another dude I love is this the fucking brown dude that wears these same exact glasses that I wear. Is a big beard. Um. There was like that famous meme of someone saying like you're literally white passing when he's like very clearly not anyway uh that dude debunks shit all the time and there there's always like these creepy pasta like tiktok accounts where they're like uh this uh rothschild was like this is the last uh photo this is the last ever photo of this rothschild rothschild ever seen with this what's cannibal a, what's a rothschild he's like a fa it's a famous family anyway oh and and then uh and then he like debunked it but it was cool like there's there's a lot of this like creepy pasta shit that, yeah hello my friends that's how he starts off hello my friend mm -hmm. or oh no it wasn't a rasha it was a rockefeller sorry it was a rockefeller so yeah, I wanted to include this on this list on the tip because guys don't believe everything you see on TikTok and imagine like I mess up this actually is like real <laughs> Yeah, this guy flies trend in oh, yeah, 2020. Like a new trend thing. began emerging. This guy is fire. Well, I don't I know why like I don't it. follow him. He's sick. He's dope. Oh, this is this is literally what I watched. It. Disturbing backstories. Look, this is the last photo of Michael Rockefeller. Uh -huh. Before he was consumed by a tribe. Hello, my I'm about to tell you something incredible, so make sure you listen. So Michael Rockefeller was traveling through a river with an anthropologist in 1961 when the motor of the boat broke down. After 24 hours of them stuck on the boat, Michael decided to jump into the water and swim to shore. And that was the last time anyone ever saw Michael Rockefeller. The anthropologist on the boat was fortunately later rescued. And so the theory was that the Azmat tribe, who were known to be cannibalistic, who lived on those shores, uh, consumed Michael. At least, that's what we thought. But here's the incredible part. Nine years later, National Geographic was filming the same tribe, but from far away. They were watching the tribe row their boats. Now here's the footage of the tribe. Did you manage to see it? Let me show you again. There was what appears I looked this up and the guy tried to swim 12 miles to the shore. There's no chance he made it. He made that swim in those waters. I mean, but they clearly could have fucking picked him up because they row and they're rowing their shit to be a I European man rowing alongside those tribesmen. This is the only footage that exists. The only piece of evidence showing a white man amongst these tribesmen. Unfortunately, the footage is too grainy to be 100% certain. But my guess is Michael Rockefeller never passed away in 1961. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. He does. I mean, he's got some sussy takes too. Don't get me wrong. I think it, sometimes he does like sussy shit, but ultimately he's like very interesting. I'm a, I'm a fan. You know, hello, my friend. 
What is this? The new council attacks? Anyway, okay. Let's finish this video. Oh my god, I forgot to show you the fucking dancing TikTok after this. Where users would trap flies in syringes and squeeze the bottom, alluding to the idea of the fly being squished to death. That's you. You want to do that. <laughs> Most no. of the times they wouldn't squish the fly, at least on video, but sometimes they would actually post it. This is a rare case where someone actually claims they made the trend. The user goes by DJ SHBDBDB and his bio read, squishing fly at 50k. I really started a fly and syringe trend now. Super this user has since changed his name and gotten banned due to violating community guidelines. I saw some people arguing in the comment section saying, wow, Gen Z is so soft, we're really protecting flies now, but like, that's not the point of the argument. No shit, we all kill flies when they're flying around There's in our a mosquito. room. But it's just really stupid Dude, when people do I'm shit scared. like this for clout. Like, dog, yeah, everyone kills flies. But it takes a special kind of person to trap a fly, put it in a syringe, start squeezing the bottom of it, and then post it for TikTok clout and make your bio squishing fly at 50k. It's crazy. The surface. Skinwalker dog. What? Oh, Before I get into this, let's go over the definition what of skinwalker. Like skin In Navajo walkers. culture, a skinwalker is a type of. Oh yeah, that's true. Skinwalker TikTok is funny. Yeah, I mean, there's just so fake. Unlike the top of the hour ad break, that is very real and coming to you right now. That's right. I forgot to run it last hour, so I'm gonna run one right now. Unless. Unless. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime. Ooh. Yeah, I ran one two hours ago. I forgot. Anyway, here's the one minute ad break now, and then we'll watch the Detroit. We'll watch Detroit thing, uh, the Detroit urban survival video with Charlie. Who do you know? Detroit urban survival. <gasps> the fucking the 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 dude who like he's like the American Steven Seagal. He Who's like Steven disarms Seagal? people. <gasps> you oh, don't know Steven guy. Seagal? If I saw him, I, if I see him, I might know. Who? Anyway, here's the ad break now, by the way. Harmful witch Let's who has the ability this. to show turn you. into You're in for a treat. I can't. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you guys this. Very good stuff. It's very yeah. good. One day, a woman posted a TikTok of her dog opening the door from inside the bathroom. She screams, oh my god, as the dog looks at her and closes the door again. The comments were full of people telling her that her dog was a skinwalker. Look. If the doorknob was spherical, then yeah, I would be creeped out too. But the owners then showed that the doorknob was one of those lever type doorknobs. So, you know, that's how the dog opened the door. There is a whole community on TikTok dedicated to finding skinwalkers, but let's be honest, most of them are fake or just misunderstood. Bolivia College Incident. The Bolivia College Skinwalker Incident is another one of those situations where users would uh, just upload these shock videos. You would beat the shit up. No, it's not would. I could. <laughs> you no, I would. You would. <laughs> I love dogs. You would. <laughs> dog open that door. <laughs> I love dogs. First of all, uh, foolish that you think I would use my hands. I would never use. I would never use my hands when defeating a dog in the marketplace of combat. Your My words? kicks, dude. Are oh. you kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You need to have distance away from, you know, important areas that a dog could like very easily grab onto and kill you with one shot. You're not gonna debate I've it. I've thought about this. this. I've not thought about this a lot. It? No, I've thought about this a lot because like, like I had a pretty big pit bull. Okay, so I'm like very familiar with like big boys. You know what I mean? I'm very familiar with their anatomy and all that stuff because you know I had a little baby. Uh, who was a who was a gigantic uh, pit bull, right? So sometimes I would like I would think like could I in in like a weird situation when I go to the dog you park like if there's like a big dog well, I would wrestle my dog all the time, but that's different. Every time you see a dog in public, you're like yeah, I can you, take that you dog. Think about yeah, fighting it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, immediately I go to kiss them because they're awesome and I love dogs. But in the back of my mind, I'm like. <laughs> I think it comes from a place of respect too. They respect me as the alpha when they see me because they know I have the confidence of a man who could fight a thousand dogs. You know what I mean? True, like true. they look at me and they go, wow, like I'm going to act right. That. I'm going to act right around this man because he looks like he knows how to do combat with <laughs> do you, a dog. Do you, do you help the dogs or something? How else do Wait. they respect you? No, that's not the only way to get respect from a dog, dude. You fucking weirdo. No. It's your confidence. Yeah, sure. Your personal. I'm sure you don't hump the dog. Your personal aura and your confidence translates to the dog listening to your commands. But yeah.
The man that fights like a thousand dogs, secondhand lions. Videos onto TikTok until they get taken down. Cause that's how a lot of you guys told me you guys found this video. Anyway, this clip showed a bunch of college students oh, on the floor. What floor is this? Eventually the railing breaks and students begin falling to their deaths. It's so scary seeing this one girl about to fall to her death, but is pulled up by a colleague. Usually I know about these shock videos that go around, but I had no idea that this even happened. So thank you guys for informing me. Also to the people- <laughs> yeah, Thank Things you for traumatizing me. me. I'm crying now. What the fuck? Dog seat and think that man for sure. What? What? That has the best way to th take me out? Yeah, that's true. Posting this to get clout or likes or just shock value? You're fucking weird, bro. You're a weird piece of shit. The body. TikTok day. April 24th, 20 Oh, this one was bullshit, though. 2021 was no longer a normal day. Instead, it became TikTok's... Day. I'm sure you all remember this because the news seemed to have went mainstream considering my mom was talking to me about it because it was being talked Oh my god, this was another one where like people were fucking freaking out in my chat Like they were like you're discounting TikTok rape day. I was like, no, that's not a real thing dumbass Like that's not they were like, no, look how terrible men are. They have a rape day And it was our originally supposed to be like a snapchat rape day too Right or no, it was TikTok where People were upset at me because they said I said it was fake. Oh. Reminds me of Cut for Beaver. Like, like, why the fuck? Yeah, it was a 4chan op. Yeah. Like that, exactly. It was exactly like that. Exactly, Cut for Beaver. Talked about Univision. But yes, this was supposed to be a day where guys would go out and girls? I don't think anything happened though. I read a lot of articles about it, but uh, no one really said any anyone got hurt. At least I hope so. I hope no one got hurt on April 24th. The person who started this trend can't really. Why do you sound like you wanted to be real? What? Good one, dude. They discounted the guy earlier today, but believe fake stuff, lol. No, it's... That shit is very clearly fake because, hey, listen, we live in a patriarchal system, okay? Every day is technically rape day for a lot of rapists, okay? Sorry, that's just the fucking truth. Men don't go around being like, oh, can't wait to do rape today. Like, that's so stupid. Like, that's not a thing, okay? Why the fuck would they signal that they're gonna do rape? Half the time... They don't even fucking think what they're doing is rape, okay? So that that is a that's, that's an entirely separate problem on top of everything else. Be traced. It didn't seem like there was a person. It seemed like it was just a community that did it all at all at once. So, yeah. Update on cat killer's identity. In part one, we talked about the lady cat killer that would go on Omegle with a tag furry from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. and would show off skinned and burned cats. She would also go on TikTok basically having fun that she wasn't caught. And in the video, I said that the authorities did get involved, but I did not mention who she was because I thought the internet never found out, which was stupid of me because this is the internet. The cat killer was found out to be Crystal Cherica Scott, a 19-year-old woman in Indiana who apparently sold- Bro, sometimes when they show these people, Okay, and they'll be like, this is a 19 year old. I'm like, damn, bro, that is like, bro, she does not look 19. When they're 19, hold on. Yeah, what the inches. fuck, dude? She looks like she's like 37. Animal crush videos. That's specific. Dude. Bro, Indiana is just rough, dude. There's some in the water, there's some in the air, you know? Just yeah. like, <laughs> I'm from Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, well, you you have baby hands, so you, you survived Indiana. God bless you me, got man. out early, you got out early. <laughs> on the internet. She would go on websites looking for families that were giving away their no. pets and then proceed to kill them on video. When ah! searching her home, FBI agents recovered numerous animal parts and skulls that were consistent of the size of cats and dogs. Agents also discovered approximately three live dogs, 12 live cats, and several lizards. Scott is facing up to seven years in prison, Ooh, three years of it? supervised I mean, yeah, okay, guys. Maximum it, fine like, of two yeah, obviously it's not gonna be that much, but <laughs> it's it, not. it should be like morale, like, no, it's good. Don't like, I, I don't think she should go to prison for life. Okay, she I should. She's probably gonna kill people next. Rude. I know someone that got seven years for torching a cop car, though, and like that dude at a BLM rally, like, and that dude should not go to jail for seven years for doing that. True. Mm -hmm. I think you should be allowed to get like one in. You know what I mean? Everyone gets <laughs> one in their lifetime. Everyone gets one heated gaming moment True. against the cop car. Mm -hmm. Okay, no one's in it. Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, especially in a in a protest. Yeah, one free pass. Yeah, one one free one free pass. No, I'm not saying one pet kill. We're talking about torching a cop car at a Black Lives Matter protest. Everyone gets one free beat up a dog day. 
Yeah, see, aren't you glad that we're both banned from LSF? Because you know that what I just said right there fucking brrr, clipped out the LSF, like literally top of the fucking leaderboard, 700 awards. Like Hassan says you should torch cop cars and and then kill the cops as well. Like he loves that. Like, bah. Like they would just like lie about it. Yeah, I can't believe you condone killing cop cars. Yeah. Fighting dogs. Indiana is a top polluter. Much of the north northwest of the state is still full of industry. People really do be suffering there. Yeah, that's what happens. $250,000. The foreigner challenge. Torture so the, the foreigner like challenge people. is something I... What? Or like, or like people that kill people, they start by torturing animals. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like the first step. It's usually uh, an indication that there are, you know, underlying uh, antisocial personality disorder uh, a issues. Sussy. Like you have violent urges. I think the the original is what like cutting leather. Cutting leather. Yeah. Why? Because it's like skin. Yeah. I mean, that's been discredited. I mean, okay, so it comes from. That uh, is from the, what is it, like the psychopathy uh, manual with uh, the dude, the FBI dude that like wrote all the fucking, that wrote all, that interviewed all the psychopathic uh, serial killers. It's an outdated model, but peeing yourself in your sleep is one, two part of a triad. Wait, what? Oh no. I've peed myself in my sleep. Like every night. No. LSF Hassan urges fans to kill cops. Dab says to beat up their dogs. <laughs> Can't believe you said that. I did not say that. Witness people talking Hunter, about, yeah. but never saw any of the videos themselves. I mean, thank God, because this seems horrible. So this was a trend that started in April of 2020, where people would post compilations, like little, little fan edits of themselves, basically, uh, with Pop Smoke's song Foreigner playing in the background. Rest in peace, pop smoke. You cannot say pop and forget the smoke. Except the people in these edits would uh, put their into these edits. Wait, which what? It's already weird for TikTok. I mean, that's against community guidelines. But the reason this foreigner challenge blew up was because the main people doing this were minors. Yeah, little girls. I don't know why. I, I don't know either. But basically, a why, bunch of dude? What the fuck is wrong with people, dude? What is going on? It's like. It's fucking insane. It's been discredited when it comes to psychopo psychopathy, but most because the mainstream notion of psychopathy is outdated as a whole now. Like bigger that, TikTok like influencers were just like calling this out and telling like people to report these videos right when they saw them, and you know trying trying to stop it basically. And I guess it worked because I've never seen one. I've never seen one to this day. Again, thank God I haven't. Suitcase murders in the summer of 2020. Teenagers were using an app called. It's called the McDonald Triad as an indicator for psychopathy. No, I don't think like every bedwetter is a serial killer. Okay, everybody chill out. What the what? fuck? The Darkest TikTok Iceberg Part 3, Tuv, 19 seconds. This is 100% a poop sock. How do you know? Click it. Click it. No. <laughs> Please. I'm not. Please can't click it, bro. Bro, please. No. Bro. Please click it. No. Bro. No. It would be on Craigslist. First of all, it would be here. It. it would be here. Click it, bro. It would be here. Click it. It's not here. I need it. Click it. Why won't you click it? Engage it. You won't. <laughs> yeah. You're a bad person. <laughs> That's right. Bad. No. Dav is a person that enjoys poop sock. I know. It's a real, real messed up individual to enjoy poop sock straight up. 
called Randonautica. This app provides you with totally random coordinates within a set radius. You can then choose if you'd like to adventure to that point. Honestly, it seems like a fun app. I might even download it after this video. No, this is not a sponsor. <laughs> but in this case, these teens were led to some rocks on the beach. Oh, I remember While this. there, they discovered a suitcase that they said smelled horrible. After recording some of it, they called the is police and authorities later discovered that there were human remains inside yeah, of that suitcase. Actually, I think the so. man was 27-year-old Austin Winter, who was killed by a gunshot wound. Police also connected this to another body they had found a month before near the same location. And that body belonged to 35-year-old Jessica Lewis, who was his girlfriend and died from multiple gunshot wounds. The killer hasn't been found to this day. Also, oh. the family's GoFundMe is linked down in the description. And oh my god. You recognize the poop sock pattern so well, you're smarter than you think. It's because of years of abuse, motherfucker. That's why. Because yeah, I've been. You just got poop socks. So I've been, get fucked. Well, I did it because I no, knew. You got fucked. Well, that doesn't count because I knew. You lost. In case anyone wants to visit it and donate. Abyss. Update the killer was found. Oh, really? Dub. Wait, wh where was the killer found? Okay. Wait, he made a third one? Dude, TikTok Bangladesh human trafficking. In June of this year, Bangladeshis were shocked when they saw a video circulating on WhatsApp. The video showed an almost four minute clip of a woman being ganked and tortured by four men and one woman. Authorities got involved and were able to save this woman, which was a victim of human trafficking. He the was their landlord? The no way. A popular TikTok influencer who oh, went by the name shit. of Babo not only to traffic the women in the video, but also would use his social media clout to lure 50 other women into a cross-border human trafficking ring between Bangladesh and India. Traffickers used TikTok and Facebook groups to find women in Bangladesh. They were lured to India under the false premise of e Angry about unpaid rent. Landlord allegedly murdered couple found in viral TikTok suitcase video was angry about unpaid rent. Oh! oh my god. So he shot them? Better have my money, motherfucker. Her court documents up. Yeah, oh, dude, landlords are such fucking scumbags. Fuck? Dudley was previously the couple's landlord. He admitted to argue with the victims over back to rent. Hey, Saya! What? The mosquito. The mosquito. Is, this, is she always like this? Yeah. I just don't want to get bit. It's get, it gets itchy. I like that you thought that that was unique to you because of your your condition <laughs> or something. Like no, like it gets it gets worse on me. It oh. like bruises. Oh okay. Oh, oh wow. Again. No, it bruises worse. No, no, no. very unique. <laughs> it bruises. Very for unique years. when you get bit by a mosquito. It itches and it <laughs> bruises. Let me. Oh, let me find out there's a bump too. It, yeah. It gets no red. shot. No shot. Oh, we red. No. That's crazy. You're you're crazy. This has only happened to you. I think. I don't believe you. It, it hurts. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Dap is not wrong. Mosquitoes are responsible for so many malaria deaths. Bro, I don't want malaria. Dog, we're in Why are you Los Angeles. We're in Los of, Angeles, dude. Why are you dude? shaming me for being scared of catching malaria? That's it's, like it's completely reasonable. We are not in a in a malaria uh, you know Speak area. For yourself. Either shooting videos or finding employment, and that's sick. Imagine like a struggling woman in How Bangladesh, much rent do they owe? Like 15? looking for a job, looking for employment. Uh, 1500. That's it? He killed him for 1500. He murdered him for 1500. I mean, he's a typical landlord behavior. Oh my god. Puberty advice pages. In May of this year, an account on TikTok began gaining traction called Puberty Helper 101. I did not the goal of this page these. was There's to help no little way. girls go through puberty and deal with the changes their bodies were going through. But eventually, people found out that the owner behind the account was a grown man. It was even oh, more disturbing when the it. account posted this. Hey guys, I'm going to pick three of you randomly and DM you and give you my phone number to help you. I fucking knew it. LSF, Hassan Hope's death gets malaria. <laughs> To be fair, That's they wouldn't. Up. They wouldn't care because you, you're a you're a white man hater. Oh, true. You you hate the white race and white men in particular. I it, it's, it's just how it is. I mean, this is just like straight pedo, like this is straight pedophile. You and talk you through anything you need. If any of you would find this helpful, write in the comments and maybe I'll pick you up. What the fuck? This TikTok pick account was banned shortly after the whole TikTok community found out it existed. Blackout challenge. In April of this year, a 12 year old boy by the name of Joshua passed away due to attempting the quote unquote blackout challenge. This challenge what? consisted of choking yourself until 
you passed out. Joshua's twin brother ended up finding him unconscious on the bathroom floor. This resulted in Your Joshua brain being damage? brain dead oh, and yeah. being on life support for 19 days until eventually passing away. Their GoFundMe is also linked down in the description. They're almost near their goal. Their goal is $200,000. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to donate, then donate, but rest in peace to Joshua. Rest in peace. I did this challenge in boarding school? What the fuck? Is this a real thing? I, I didn't even know. know you could do that to yourself. That's kind of, like, I mean, you know, RIP, but that's kind of impressive. I remember university, we, the, like, my, my friends would pass out for fun. They would breathe really hard, like, on the ground. Like, they would be crouching, and they, they would hyperventilate really hard and stand up. And then they would, like, pass out for a little bit. Or how the fuck? Someone said... Kids are fucking, oh, I thought you said kids are fucking metal. No, dude, I, I don't understand how you can do that. Kids in my gym class used to choke each other out until they passed out for fun. Okay, that I, I mean, that's still fucked up, but that I understand. But choking yourself out, that's crazy. It's a lot harder. Yeah, that's not easy, dude. Your body oh. literally is, has a built-in mechanism to fight against that kind of behavior. 1444 video. Autoerotic asphyxiation is not rare. You absolutely can do that. We're not talking about fucking someone literally tying a, a, a rope around their neck and then, you know, sitting on a, a doorknob or something. Like, that's not what we're talking about. This kid, like, choked himself. I don't know how. The 1444 video is another video that would circulate it's around TikTok, hands. just like the Ronnie McNutt video and the Bolivia College incident. This 2019 video showed a teenage Russian boy sitting on his couch saying a quote and then shooting himself in the head with a semi-automatic rifle. The way this video got its name is unknown, but I'm sure someone just button mashed, you know, just 1444. But it was actually uploaded to YouTube with the name 1444 and was left up for three days. So YouTube just didn't take it down for three days straight. Anyway, the young man in the video went by Gleb and I'm not gonna pronounce his last name, I'm gonna butcher that. Korobliov. And the story goes, and I quote, according to friends, the young man decided to commit after a quarrel with his girlfriend on the basis of jealousy. Against the backdrop of personal problems, this event became a fatal, irrevocable moment, after which the young man decided on a desperate step. Beloved Gleb was a 17-year-old Muscovit Elsa Gumirova. Girls showed no interest in the last hours of the young man's life and didn't even go to the broadcast. She refuses to comment on what happened. Yeah, I think that's probably a translated paragraph because it- Did you hear about the fucking Russian dude that left his girlfriend on the balcony and she died? Like while he was live streaming? Oh yeah, she froze to death. She froze something. to death. Yeah. Like he just straight up fucking left his girlfriend. I think she was pregnant too. Left his girlfriend out to die on the balcony. Sub-zero temperature. Did he walk yeah. her out or did yeah. he like forget her out there or something? Yeah. Both, I think. I didn't, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he thought that she was actually going to die though. He was just like kind of. It wasn't on balcony. It was a house. Yeah, he was yeah, a it, Twitch streamer. Yeah. He got paid to do it. Yeah. She was half naked. No, no, no. She was getting, like, donators were giving her money to do that. And then he left her body on stream. Oh, yeah, he did. Or, yeah, he did. Wait, he got off? What do you mean he got off? He got six years only? Wait, that's, that's called trash streaming in Russia. There's a whole meta around it. He talked to the body. What? The police had to end, get him to end the live stream. Weren't people donating with money requests to torture her? What? Okay, dude, what the, the English wasn't that good on that. Please How take this as a that? grain of salt because that was uh, submitted by an anonymous user. He was live streaming this on VK, which is a social media in Russia. Before he commits, he says a quote, and that quote translates to Nikita. If you tell my parents about this too quickly, I'll get you from beyond the grave. I know that you have their phone numbers. Anyway. How does the saying go? Neon Polka. Neon Polka is a reference to another Russian person that also committed and that person actually laid on train tracks and was, uh, I don't even know if I could say that, oh, but her head came off a, on the oh, train tracks girl, and I her last post on social it. media said neon polka and it became like a meme in Russia, I people guess. So you say it, that I before you commit. thought it was a challenge commit. or something. Yeah. To make matters- Wait, What the fuck? But her boyfriend also broke up with her. What? The, the train track girl. Bro, what is happening, dude? What is happening in Russia? Russian things. 
Motherfuckers would lie to my murder before going to therapy? Bro, this is fucked up. There's even worse. Gleb's mother had to manually remove the video from his account. So she had to sign in and delete it because I guess VK just wasn't taking it down. <sighs> yeah. Chao Kiyome. Chao Kiyome was an Asian TikTok influencer with over 100,000 followers who was also a crane operator. She would make videos showing her daily life oh, and no. made innocent videos. One day, while live streaming, she accidentally misstepped on the crane and fell 160 feet to her death. There is a video ah! of this, but it doesn't show anything because the phone's just like rapidly spinning in the air. Yeah, I mean, rest in peace to her. I don't know if this was one of the like shock videos where people would just po post it on TikTok. I'm sure it was. If you guys. If you guys are telling me in the comments, I mean, I'm sure people would post this too, which is so fucked up. Stillborn TikTok. Mother's coping with the- Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's 104. I kind of want to see what that looks like though. You know what I mean? Like how does- Is that fucked up? The body? No, dude. Oh. No, what it's like to drop from like that. Because you get the you see the camera. Oh. Wait, skip this part? It's a spinning cam, you won't see much? Also, why does she look like a baby? She looked like a child. Wait, there's dead babies in this? He's talking about stillborn. <laughs> The loss of their unborn children isn't anything new. I guess it just comes to a shock to people when they see it on TikTok or any other form of social media. The loss of a child I mean, is a pain I never want to feel, let alone a child that you never got to meet. Most women cope with this loss by holding the child in their arms and pretending that they're alive. You Moms take the stillborns home? Wait, what the Wait, fuck? What? I've never heard of that. Why? What, what? I remember this guy, he was like a medical mm. waste disposal or guy or whatever. He had like a bunch of aborted people fetuses and like stillborns and he was just playing around with them because they're considered waste and he just had a bunch of photos of that response why that's so insane dude what That that is crazy. That, that I don't understand why they would let that happen. Even it's like it's a just dead for baby. A few hours. Usually it's done right after uh, the delivery. I guess a lot of you guys were telling me about these mothers that go through these traumatic experiences, and I feel like you guys wanted me to really go in on it, but I'm not. It's just these women coping with a horrible scenario. If it's how they cope, then let them. And if you don't like it, then keep scrolling. Even in the case of this one woman, everyone was attacking because she seemed quote unquote happy in her videos. Now I understand everyone on the internet is going to have an opinion on a woman holding a dead child. And yeah, smiling while holding a dead body is something I'm sure none of us would expect to see. There's a market for selling stillborn babies in jars. What? Who's buying that? Yeah, Why? that's like, is that like a honeypot to like automatically go to jail? Like they're just like, hey, yeah. Who wants the stillborn baby in a jar? And then anyone that says me, boom, jail for you? Like what? What do you charge them with? Uh, you fucking being a weirdo. Uh, okay. I think that should be illegal. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you ask me, I would, I would throw people in jail for vibes straight up. Not passing the vibe check. Yeah, no, absolutely. Vibe check failures is criminal. Charged with fucked vibes. But I hope none of us have to go through what this woman had gone through. And not only her, but the millions of other women that deal with this that just don't post about it. If you see any of these videos on your For You page, don't be rude. Just keep scrolling. Sierra Halseth and Aaron Guerrero. 16-year-old Sierra Halseth and 18-year-old Aaron Guerrero were dating for some time, but Sierra's father did not approve of their relationship. The reason for the unapproval is unknown. Perhaps it was the fact that he was 18 and she was 16? Anyway, these two teenagers ended up murdering Sierra's father due to him not approving of them being together. The creepy part is that they posted this TikTok acting like it was a normal thing to do. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Day three after <laughs> marrying something. Whoa! Don't put that on camera. The father had been stabbed to death and his body was set on fire. His body was found in his wait, own wait, garage. Wait. Cops Who's, say whose father? Her father. Her father. They, killed, they her father? killed her father. Oh shit. Bro. Almost I mean, almost as fucked up as this dude's hairline. What is going on there? I need to understand. That is I mean he's in jail. He's not gonna be able to kill me, so but what the fuck happened there? Anyway. 
Sierra and Aaron then took off in her dad's car right after the event. They were arrested days later 400 miles away in Salt Lake City after apparently trying to dodge a train fare. The teens were also caught on camera buying these tools such as like bleach and other cleaning products like if they were gonna uh, clean up the murder scene. The teens have been charged with murder but haven't entered a plea. If convicted, Wadero could face the death penalty. Because she is a minor, Sierra faces life in prison. CP slash gore profile picture. See? This is why... I am an advocate for vibe check failures. Cause like, if I saw that kid with that hairline, I'd be like vibe check failure jail for Straight you. To jail. Like I would, I, it's like precog, you know, I'm an empath uh -huh. and I would sense I'm an empath for vibes. And I would have fucking, I would have sent him to vibe prison for the hairline. Yeah. For the hairline. And then, That's you know, nice. the father would have been alive. Right. Yeah. Uh, CP Gore, PFPs, that's fucking nasty. Again, you guys requested this, but this one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm happy I haven't seen any of these, but you know how in on TikTok- They literally do this on Twitch too, by the way, to try really? to get, yeah, to try to get me and other Twitch streamers banned. Oh. Like motherfuckers oh. will come in here and like make a fake account, sock account, and then they'll put like gore or whatever the fuck in the, in the PFP so that if you click on it, you just- you know, you see that and then you get banned. Okay, with uh, there was a, like an update a couple updates ago where you could you yeah, can now set your profile names. picture and you can also set like a video profile picture. So I think people were abusing the video profile picture thing. And whenever you would click on their account, it would play a clip of CP or Gore, which is so fuck like, bro, why? You're weird. Yeah, I'm assuming there was no, nah, I don't even that, that's Dude, that's gross. Chair. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. What about his chair? His so yeah, that's it for part two of the darkest TikTok iceberg. Um, see that? What? Like, what he did in his chair? Yeah. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>